Hello, this is Tim with an Elite Dangerous uh, video. Um, obviously this is an edit of uh, Twitch um, where I streamed this same gameplay live. Um, if you want to check that out, its uh, profile name is Wheatley T. You can see it up at the top right. And um, obviously afterwards I edit those down and uh, post them here on YouTube. Now, going for a fitting here that I've never had before, I think. Um, I'm actually going to fit uh, two class 2 beam lasers to my sidewinder. And there we go. So, uh, not really had this fitting before, so, um, you know, it's a bit of a, uh, of a trial. Just going to set up the fire groups now, so they're both in the in the primary fire group and ready to launch. Um, this was kind of my first actual gameplay of uh, Premium Beta 2. Um, obviously, before this, the only thing I've done is really recorded footage with it, um, which were, which you saw in, in the uh, previous video I posted, where I kind of profiled the update. Um, so uh, exiting the station here from one of the new systems, um, I mean um, LHS uh, 3006 uh, system. And um, I'm at the station which orbits uh, Vulcan. Now Vulcan, as you'll have seen in the previous video, is a planet which is recovering from a uh, collision. And um, you can see it, 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 it has a ring and uh, the surface of the planet hasn't really hardened yet. You can see it's, um, it's uh, essentially still a uh, molten planet. And uh, just getting out of mass lock here, uh, going towards an unidentified signal source. And uh, they now have um, like an escape vector that's supposed to help you. And I think what it did here, which is a bit silly, it um, it made me change direction to avoid the planet, but redirected me so I'm pointing directly towards the station, which seems to kind of defeat the purpose a little bit. Um, so now I then have to point back towards the planet to. Um, to actually fly there. So you can see the new um, inf um, information box for the uh, super cruise at the bottom left there for a second, but uh, I'm already at, at the location, so I've already disengaged. Um, now just waiting to see what's, what's here at this uh, signal. And um, that's a pirate, so um, I deploy my weapons. And it looks like they're not interested in me, they're actually attacking another ship, so um, I actually switched to the target there right before I opened fire, and uh, the person that I opened fire on I unfortunately hadn't yet established was wanted, so unfortunately I got myself a bounty, <laughs> so I'm now wanted in this system, and um, basically uh, I'm attacking these pirates and um, just hoping that their bounties will be greater than my own so that I can pay it back and haven't wasted my time coming here. And 450, so that should uh, easily cover the bounty. Now, I'm a bit inexperienced with uh, beam lasers. The last time I had them was a long time ago uh, because they haven't been really working properly. Um, and uh, now they appear to be fixed, um, as far as, as I can tell, but I do feel like uh, two beam lasers kind of overpowers the Sidewinder a little bit. Um, so I think for my next video what I'm going to try doing is having uh, two, beam, la two uh, beam lasers in the, in the secondary fire group and one in the primary so that essentially I can use the secondary group to take down the shields as my first strike 
and then after the shields are down, I'll use a single beam laser that I can keep on for longer. Um, you know, for, to uh, take the hull down because uh, right now with 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 two beam lasers, it's it's constantly you know on for a little bit and then off for longer and then on and off for longer. Um, and uh, I just don't feel like that's probably as effective as you know constantly hitting them. Uh, so I'll, I'll try that in my next video, but the whole of this video, I have both of them in the same fire group. And uh, it's pretty hard when um, the, uh, the enemy gets out at long range to see that you're actually hitting them properly with the, with the beam lasers. Um, even, even though they now have a cross... Uh, in, in the uh, center where the lasers actually converge. Um, it's still kind of difficult to, to always hit. Um, but I think uh, that may be all of the pirates gone now. So uh, now I was just looking to see where the, uh, where the anaconda had got to. Um, and uh, I first of all thought that it might have jumped out and then it actually reappeared on the, the scanner there so um, just looping around to go and check it out and uh, I actually see that it had a wanted status even though it was a federal security service um, so I thought you know why not <laughs> and uh, I, I uh, just maneuver around to the back of it, which I know is um, an anaconda's weak spot, and I, I check out the bounty here, which um, is just 200 credits, but, you know, I figure I'm recording my gameplay, I'm putting it on YouTube, and it doesn't really matter that much, so um, I figured I would uh, try it out, even though the bounty is just 200. So opening fire now, and um, it actually took a long time to uh, to get the shields down now that they've come back online. So I actually skipped the video, and here I'm obviously right behind it, sticking close and just keeping my, my weapons going. And unfortunately it jumped out so I think I got it down to something like 30% hull um, it's kind of disappointing to have spent that much time on it and um, get nothing for it um, and I did first of all fly back to the uh, to the signal source to check if anything else had spawned there but uh, no contacts in range so I decided to go back to the uh, station And I'm um, just going to go and clear my bounty, really, um, because it, it, it seemed like this system was fairly light on players, so um, it made sense to go at, uh, at, at, at this point rather than um, going to another system and then trying to clear the bounty there that might be full of players. Just uh, maneuvering in, and uh, as I go in, you can see there's another human player who is currently undocking. And uh, I actually wanted to land as soon as possible, just in case they did something stupid like trying to kill me within the station.
Booking successful. Engines disengaged. So there we go, in safety. And that's my bounty cleared, so um out of trouble now. Ship released. Engines engaged. But what's interesting here is when I get outside the station you can see that the player who undocked um is actually sat there waiting for me. I think he was checking that I'd actually cleared my bounty because if not I think he was gonna try to tr try to uh cash in. That's uh, Commander Craftman with a K. So I'm going to head over to um, Erinin, which is a quite a familiar system. I've spent a lot of time there. there you go, I kind of couldn't resist um, playing uh, today's sneak peek in the appropriate place where um, uh, as I fly towards the federal distress signal here um, that was a, uh, a dreadnought asking for help and that's exactly what I'm flying towards here Okay, so with those please those um please for help, I couldn't really ignore it, could I? So uh <laughs> I um select to be on on the federal side, which is who I normally select. And um first thing I see here is a human player called Commander Awesome, who um is uh right for the picking and um really quickly take his shields down and um I think, you know, I've got him. You know, this um, would probably be an easy kill if, uh, if my weapons weren't out of energy quite so much. So this is one of the situations where I think having a single beam laser active might have worked better. Um, because uh, it kind of gave him time to run away and um, to maneuver and everything. And um, He's also a good pilot. I think he kind of knew what he was doing and um, knew to kind of get out of there. And uh, by the time I actually start trying to get closer, he jumps out. So um, he uh, obviously did what he needed to do to, to survive. So I turn back around and um, start to attack uh, some NPCs here. Now, um, something that I've noticed with the NPCs uh, is that they seem to have worked on the AI again. Um, 
they've made them, in, in my opinion, a lot more realistic. Where um, they do similar things to what I do in the Sidewinder. Where um, I, um, because of the good, the, the good maneuverability of, of the Sidewinder, I try to stay as close to my target as possible so that I, I can use that maneuverability to, you know, stay um, either on, on their rear or, or away from their corners. And um, most of the time with these NPCs, that's what you'll see them doing at first. Um, and uh, at some point after that, they'll have kind of a panic response where they try to run. And as you can see, this NPC here is effectively doing exactly the same thing as that human player did, except from as soon as his shields have come back online here, he's actually looping back around to come in and try to take me out. Um, so in many ways, this this NPC is actually more effective than uh, Commander Orson was. Um, and uh, a, a, a lot of the maneuvers that he's doing right here, he's staying very, very close to me, and um, it's it's a it's a little bit unusual. And especially later, you see him staying very, very close, and uh, I'm actually having to maneuver a lot to get them back in the um, the uh, uh, gun sights. Um, and again, with the beam laser, I think I'm taking way longer than I need to having two of them active. I notice a few different music um, backgrounds as well, which I, I I don't think it really adds a lot. With with Elite 2, I actually turned off the, the music that would play. Um, although, you know, it's still an iconic part of my memory of, of Elite 2. Um, I did end up turning it off, I, you know, I just preferred to hear the engine, etc. Um, now on the radar you'll notice that there's actually a human player, and it's Commander Awesome who's actually come back again, so um, the multiplayer system actually works to, to, to match you up with people that you've interacted with, and uh, that's what's happened to him, is that um, he's come back in here because he's interacted with me, and um, I'm not really sure whether he's going to attack me or not. Um, I figure, you know, maybe he wants to be, be given a break. So um, I, I kind of wait until he starts attacking me and then it's fair game then. And, um, you know, you can see he's a pretty good pilot. He's better than a lot that I've faced, especially in the Sidewinder too. He seems to know how to take advantage of, of the Sidewinder. And, um, you know, he's doing everything he can to maneuver, the same as me. Lots of directional changes, um, lots of, of um, you know, throttle forwards and backwards changes, um, lots of looping around, and um, he knows as well, you know, when to stop reversing and put it into uh, forward, like he did then, to obviously, you know, kind of throw me off. And, um, but he's obviously not um, not really matching me combat wise whether it's the ship or whether it's you know me um, which it's to be honest it's probably the fact I have two two beam lasers um, but uh, I effectively have him uh, beaten again and obviously it uh, doesn't make that much of a difference because um, he jumps out again <laughs> so that's, uh, again, you know, that's, that's really all you need to do to survive, and su survival is what it's all about. So, um, you know, I can't blame him for jumping away, and I can't say it's the wrong thing to do. It's perfectly the right thing to do, because uh, he lives to fight another day. So I moved back in um, to take some NPCs here. Shields 
I actually noticed in that music there, there's a couple of the, the bars of the music that are the same as, um, you know, and they might not want to hear this, but they're the same bars as you would hear in the uh, Wing Commander music, um, <laughs> which uh, I, I find particularly interesting. I think it's, um, I think it's Wing Commander 1 that it's from, um, you know, kind of standard combat music. and. It's not like it's the whole music, it's just that particular section, uh -huh. but I found that particularly funny. And um, so anyway, here, uh, attacking NPCs, you can see them making real tight turns, you can see them um, you know, coming back towards me uh, really effectively. And um, they're also using objects, they're using the ship really quite effectively as well, and making it difficult for me. Um, and uh, I, I basically am chasing these guys around like I would be a human player. experienced the AI doing before. And um, it's it's quite effective. I think he's um, his pulse laser is not functioning right now. He's on um, ten percent hole. And you can see, you know, again he's going underneath the ship whether that's accidental or not. And that's him gone. I love a lot of the visuals when um, a beam laser hits shields and hits hull. Um, you know, the, the shield effects and the damage effects um, are looking quite quite nice you know, with the beam laser. Here, obviously, you know, offloaded into him. He's uh, turned immediately, pretty tight turn. Um, over the top of this this ship this uh, ship here, and um, he's trying to loop back through it to get away from me. He's actually trying to go into the bowels of this ship to get away from me, and um, I think that's very cool AI behavior. And I, I do think that, um, you know, that initial blast where you empty your energy banks in um, to take down their shields, I think that will be really, really effective, but I think at this point I should just be using a single laser so that uh, all, all this time when I have the X of, of, of the gun sights over them, I can actually be doing damage. And over on the right, on the scanner, uh, now um, at the bottom of the, of the scanner, you can see there's a human player who is fighting for the Aryan Defense Force, so they're on the opposite side to me. Um, and I did actually see them straight away, but I knew that I had to finish off this guy because um, I probably would not be able to survive more than one target at a time. And um, although I have had it before where um, when there's not enough human players around or, or there's not enough of the federal fighters around, they, they do kind of focus on you anyway. 
um, because there's nobody else to fire at. Um, I really didn't want that to happen, so I knew I kind of needed to take this guy down. And um, that meant even if the human player decided to come over and start firing on me, you know, I wouldn't be able to react until he did that. I had to try to get rid of this guy first. Okay, now I'm uh, going to check out the human player. And there he is, and it's an eagle. I uh, try to go to the opposite side of the ship. Uh, perhaps I can get closer before he realizes that I'm interested in him. He's on the opposite side to, uh, to me. And what's cool there is you can see um, a few scorch marks appearing on the uh, the uh, dreadnought live from um, the NPC guns there. Now I think as well I might have been able to um, do a better job um, of avoiding thermal overload with uh, one beam laser again. Um, you know, I, I honestly think eagles are. Uh, not that difficult to beat in a sideline, um, especially if you know how to use a sideline. But uh, this pilot's doing a pretty good job of um, always facing towards me, so I figure I have to get closer in. But um, he's doing a pretty good job of keeping distance, and it's Commander Pew Pew Pew, which um, I think he's actually been someone that I've killed or has killed me in the past, so um, I think the matching service for uh, multiplayer has maybe been turned on because um, I noticed that you know I'm seeing people more than once. Um, but anyway, this uh, really isn't going well for me right now. He's uh, out outmaneuvering me really. Uh, very good pilot, and um, I'm on 10% pull when I start to try to run away here. And uh, really, just far too late for me to do that. And um, now I'm 3%. Drive charging. And that's it. I'm, I'm dead. Uh, so, Commander Pew 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 managed to get me. I was quite surprised to see that the rebuy charge for those two beam lasers is only um, 2,850. Um, I don't know whether that's correct, but uh, it definitely allowed me um, to not lose that much money. I mean, that's that's only six six kills in uh, the um, the uh, federal distress signal. So uh, launching again now, and um, it put me in the last station that I had visited, which was LHS three zero zero six. Which um, I think that kind of shows that they have established um, to reload you um, in the last station you got to, so I think that's quite helpful, you know, you might have a home base that you always go back to and um, you know, this is gonna put you back there, so uh, because I was in the earning system and I hadn't docked in uh, the earning system, so um, I quite like that it put me back here. Um, so here I'm about to hyperspace, I have to go to the, the escape um, direction again. The escape vector. And I, I do think that hyperspace and, um, and uh, 
Super crews are uh, a lot smoother than they were, and um, obviously they've been working on that. Before I leave the system, I wanted to check out um, what was here um, at the unidentified signal. And it turned out to be a federal okay. security service uh, who was possibly just scanning my criminal record, uh, my cargo, to see if any of it was stolen. But uh, I'm, I'm clean right now. And uh, that's the reason why I think if you have a bounty, you should pay it off as soon as possible because you never know when a security force is going to interdict you. And um, if you have a wanted status, you never know what they might do. Um, or if you're carrying stolen cargo, um, you need to sell it as soon as possible because if not, they'll send you cargo to see that you're carrying stolen cargo and then you get a bounty for carrying stolen cargo. Um, so yeah, I uh, decided to leave the system, um, go to a different system to Erin in this time, and uh, I think I settle on going to uh, I Bootis. Drive charging. Just got to align with the star because. Um, if you haven't already been made aware of this, each star that you see in the sky here is a real star on the star map. It's in the locations that it would be if you were in the system that I'm in. Um, so, uh, just going through hyperspace now. And um, like I said, I do think that they've smoothed this out quite a bit. Um, if you're playing um, at times when things are really overloaded, then perhaps you're not seeing this like I am, but uh, I think they're making huge strides. So just deciding where to go in this system. And uh, I decided to go for this unid unidentified signal source and just see what's there. Um, unusual for me to kind of explore this much, but um, this is probably a little bit more how I will play the full game, is that, um, you know, I, I want to be a bounty hunter, I don't want to be a bounty hunter in the same place every day. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to un unidentified areas and explore and find those bounties, you know, I'm not going to go to where I know they are. Um, I want to have fun doing it. So, um, getting close to this unidentified signal source here. Um, the planet above me, you can see the cloud layers and everything. Um, that's, that planet is called Chango. And um, I actually just got interdicted. And um, just waiting to select and uh, see who it is. Scanning and he's already opened fire before I had, e had even established that he was wanted. So, um, just uh, trying to get him back into view here, so I can take him down. You know, I'm not going to run away from this guy, because he's just, just in a sidewinder. Same as me. And it's, it's pretty cool to be doing combat like this, like right above the planet. And I, I sort of wonder if, you know, someday you might get interdicted on your way towards a planet and, you know, you end up doing combat in the cloud layers and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty exciting, actually, to think of the possibilities. You know, if you go into a cloud and then you, um, you put on silent running so the person can't find you, you know, it's, uh, there's some pretty cool possibilities there. Shields offline. And that's him finished up. 
get destroyed. Just a 200 credit bounty and it kind of seemed like a lot of work for 200 credits. Drive charging. Now heading towards the, the unidentified signal source again. Four, And I get interdicted again. It's uh, it's kind of frustrating, but it's probably realistic. You know, you're outside a planet, and um, you're also right by where there's going to be a station. So um, it makes sense that there's going to be people around and police around and everything. And uh, this happens to be uh, the. Um, the federal police just uh, wanting to Detecting scan me now. and um, make sure I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be. Okay, and he's done and telling me to move along. And um, the uh, audio clip that I played earlier um, of the Federal Drive Distress uh, call, um, it's supposed to be really soon that you're going to be able to uh, interact. So if a pirate comes up and says, give me your cargo, you can say, oh, okay, I'll give you my cargo. Um, and then you know, they, they might not attack you for a little bit longer. Um, or uh, you, know, you can say, screw you. and. Um, you know, then they'll start attacking you, or um, you know, in, in a police scan like that, you know, maybe you can say "screw you" to that as well. Um, so it's uh, it's interesting that that's coming. I'm you know quite excited about that. It's going to add um, yet another dimension to every single interaction you have, really. Um, you know, I, uh, even though it probably made no difference whatsoever, I, I often used to um, like threaten any target in, uh, you know, Elite Two, just just to get them to respond, really, because it was, you know, it, it was a way for me to kind of immerse myself in the the whole kind of combat experience, the interaction, everything like that. Even though, you know, it was kind of felt prescripted and everything like that. Um, it uh, was fine. So I'm now um, I'm now at the unidentified signal source, and uh, there's a barrel of toxic waste. And just getting closer to this uh, yellow blip, and I see it's another barrel of toxic waste. So. Um, although there's a player here, um, you can see him on the scanner up at the top left. Um, I decided to leave because there's nothing here for me to do. The, the player was, was clean so I couldn't really attack him uh, without repercussion. So um, I actually uh, jumped to another system, uh, going to Asilus Primus. Okay, so uh, looking for somewhere to go and um, bounty hunt here, I decided to go to a uh, resource extraction site. Closer. Oh. 
so here I am and uh, one of the things that you will notice during this uh, combat uh, segment is that um, an awful lot of this asteroid belt this 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 uh, ring around this this planet is in the shade it's in the shade of the planet or it's in the shade of the other asteroids that are in the ring um, and uh, that's interesting that um, you know you can come here at certain uh, times of, of day or you can come here on um, you know certain periods where this planet is moving around its star and the lighting will look completely different and um, you know you'll, you'll have difficulty seeing asteroids um, seeing targets at, at a distance um, everything like that and that, that's that's really cool as well you know even when you go to a, a station when I visited the new uh, station model, the whole front of it was in shade and um, you know I've seen other people's videos where the whole front of it is in light so um, that's a really interesting aspect to this universe is that it's constantly changing so um, yeah you should enjoy this uh, this combat here I'm actually going to cut the uh, the commentary here um, and just leave you with the sights and sounds of the game um, the audio from the game will actually become a little bit louder, um, you know, so, so you'll be able to hear it at, at the level of my voice, and uh, I will leave you to it. Um, I uh, think I only have NPC interaction for the rest of the night, um, and uh, I think I end on about 16 kills. Um, I will leave you to it, and uh, enjoy. Thanks. Bye. Target destroyed. Shields online. Target shields online.
target destroyed. shields are fine.
target destroyed. Target 
Target destroyed. Target destroyed. 